And there you see over the, from 2001 that we've got on the graph to 2012, we've grown from a fantastic 35.9 all the way up to 126.4 billion rand that's currently funds under management. It's interesting to note where those funds are being managed from. And the biggest proportion comes from independence. It's worth discussing what an independent is. An independent private equity house primarily is one that raises third party funds. Um, and deploys those into, into um, companies, private companies, and then after a period of time will dispose of those and return the funds back to the providers of the capital. That, that period of time from the raising of the capital to the ultimate selling of the, the underlying portfolio cap, uh, company back to the, the providers of capital is approximately a 10 year, a 10 year cycle in total. And then the funds raise additional capital again going forward. So it's very important for the independents to continuously raise capital, invest it, sell it, return it, and keep doing that again and again and again. That's the lifeblood of the independents. They are desperate to continue that. If they don't, if they stop raising capital, they can be in trouble from a business point of view. 56.2% of that 14.4% came from South African sources. That's often pointed out by the participants as a very positive reinforcement by the local, the local funders to reinforce and, and are looking after and believe there is significant value in the South African market. So we're funding our own. I've been told by many of the private equity houses that one of the things that an overseas investor will look at and demand, in fact, before he invests is that is the local industry being funded locally. So is there support locally? That gives them great comfort to invest in as well.